What is up guys, Ken Ross here coming at you with another how to make a montage tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you an updated time remapping syncing uh, tutorial thing that you can use for your edits to make it really fast and easy and increase your workflow and make your final products come out faster. So pretty much what I have here is I have my song, um, just have the, the, the beats here or whatever. We're just going to zoom in to find our syncing points. I'm going to go to my composition settings, make sure it's 59.94 uh, and all that stuff. Um, hit OK. Zoom in. Where do we want to go? I want to go a little farther. A little farther. Here we go. So you can hear it goes. So I know my my points. They're very distinct. Now when you're doing this with the rock song, it's gonna be a lot harder. So I just picked dubstep just for this right here. But when you're finding your points, your markers, you want to make sure that you're very zoomed in so you can clearly see them as best as you can but this is the first sync point so so we know that there we're just gonna hit the star button on our number pad to add a marker I'm actually gonna highlight the layer so I can add it to the music layer but I'm gonna go through and every time I hear a beat that I want a shot on I'm gonna hit the um, star pad or star number so we can get an idea of where we want our numbers to be so I'm just gonna hit the, the delete key or the, the period on your keyboard and then it's gonna play through and then I hit the star for each point so here we go <laughs> So you can hear me kind of tapping on there, and we've got an idea of where our beats are, so if we just play this, we know that our beat is here. Uh, my audio lags for some reason, I'm not sure why, but so there's another beat. I'm sure this is it. Nope, this is it. There we go, we'll sync that. Hold shift, by the way, when you're dragging these so it snaps. There we go. And now we have our five markers or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, so now what we're going to want to do is add in our gunshots. This is how I sync it personally. Some people don't add in their gunshots first, but just what I do. Um, so now I'm just going to add in my gunshots. I'm going to hit LL so we can see it, but I'm going to first hit the, uh, the um, open bracket so we can see our gunshot here. I'm just going to trim it up. Alt and then begin bracket to trim it. I have a shortcut tutorial on this. Um, so now we have our waveform. We can just uh, drag control and then D to duplicate it. Drag it to our markers. Just gonna drag it to our markers. But yeah, I've done this. I've done a tutorial on this already, and it's a quad feed, so I don't even need that fifth marker. But I've done a tutorial on this already. But I think I found a better way to do it, which is a lot faster. But now we're just gonna play this through. Make sure it sounds good. Make sure our points are on. Perfect. That sounds great. Uh, this one seems. No, it's good. It's good. I think. Yep, it's good. Okay, so we can even turn those up if you wanted to, just a little bit, just for. Um, you can just hit L once and then change that to like two, and then hit L again. Get rid of it. But now we're gonna bring on our clip. Now the thing that's gonna be different about my clip is it's gonna be 300 frames per second because it's a PC clip and that's how I recorded it. So you guys, this might be a little different here. You're just gonna have to keep that in mind, but. Um, actually, you know what? Let me let me uh, put in a regular clip. Um, community, whoops, community edits. I'll just want to do one of rated clips. Um, we'll just do the five man on screen DSR. Just for the sake of you guys are probably mostly editing console, but so yeah. Um, I'm just gonna scroll through here because he gets a couple kills originally. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want we found our point, so I'm just gonna alt trim this here. Um, we want to find our gunshot, so, so I'm going to hit LL, and then we're going to find our gunshot. So we can see there's a gunshot here, so I'm just going to um, hit, go to time, or right click, go to time, enable time remapping. I'm going to make a keyframe on the gunshot. We know we have our gunshot there. Now I'm going to go to the next gunshot, which looks like it's right here. Keyframe it, and then I'm going to go to another one, which is right here. Hit a keyframe again, and bam, we have our our clip, sick clip ready to fight man on screen with three shots. Um, so we don't even need that fourth shot anymore, but you're gonna wanna use DSR probably. <laughs> but uh, So now we have this, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna line up um, the start of the gun when he says we're gonna wreck it here. Wreck it! So I think it's right here. Wreck it! Yeah, so it's right here. So I'm just gonna hit the open bracket to line this up or do it however you want. And then what I wanna do is, um, oops, my bad. Just like this, and then we want to scroll over, and now we want to kind of zoom out on our timeline a little bit, but we want to scroll over and highlight 
every single keyframe we have here. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in again. We're going to shift, hold shift, and then click this to deselect it since that's the keyframe we want that at that part. Um, but then on this part, we're going to drag it out and then I'm just gonna drag all these keyframes. So now we made this part slower, but we still haven't changed the speed of this part. So it's normal speed still, which is what's so much better about this method. So now we're gonna go to the next shot. We're gonna hold shift so we can snap onto our marker here. Uh, we're gonna shift click this one to deselect it. It's not controlled shift. Uh, I had to figure that out the long way. Uh, then we're just going to drag all these over again. And then, bam, we have that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, hang on. Let me... Actually, yeah. No, it's fine. Um, so now that we have that, and then this is the same speed still, so then we can deselect that, and then we can drag this over. And you can see it dragged this this marker over too so now after the clip it's the same speed so if we wanted to twixter it it wouldn't look funny it wouldn't gl look glitchy at all it would still look perfectly fine which is what exactly what we want um but yeah now we have this synced so it's shots are going to be there it's going to be kind of fast because you see we we dragged both the uh the markers in so what we can do here um that's just the basic syncing so if that's all you guys wanted to see uh you can go ahead and close the video now but now i'm going to show you like like how you can change up the velocity and everything with the beats of the song. So you can see there's a beat here. So I'm just going to make a keyframe there. Um, you can see there's a beat here. So I'm just going to make a keyframe there. See there's another beat here. Again, make a keyframe. You guys know this. Um, but yeah, now what we're going to want to do is highlight all of these. We're going to make sure we're on the timer mapping, go to the graph editor. It's going to be all of these ones that we're going to want to make, the ones in between. I don't know why I did that. Oops, my bad. I did not mean to delete that. But we're just going to want to make this an easy ease. Actually, don't want to, we don't want to make it in. We want to make it out. And then this one, we're going to make it easy ease out again. So now what we want to do is we want to change the speed. So I'm just going to drag these out. And then when they're, when they're down, that means it's going to go slower. And then when they're up, Say if I were to do this, it means it would, go to, it would go fast to slow, but I want it to go slow to fast. So now you see it's going to kind of, it's going to get really slow, and then it's going to go really fast, and bam, it's going to sink. It's going to look sweet on the beat. So if we just were to ramp preview this here, um, this is really fast. I don't usually do it quite this fast, but it's up to you guys. Please do with it what you please. And all that. And my thing is lagging, so that's not actually how it looks. Um, just keep that in mind. My uh, my thing was lagging, but there's gonna be a preview at the beginning, anyways. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you mute your audio here, but experiment with it. Make sure it syncs to your song. That's what makes edits look really good. So thank you guys for watching, and I will check you all next time. Peace.